12th December this year, um, myself and three others, the four oarsmen, will be rowing the, the Atlantic. So it's 3,000 miles, uh, leaving from La Gomera, um, and we'll be heading straight across to Antigua in the Caribbean. It's dubbed as the world's toughest row. Um, I strongly believe it's, it's one of the um, biggest challenges that there are out there in the world uh, right now. In all honesty, we don't know what to expect. Uh, you know, we have done two, three day rows, but not 40 days in a row. It'll be a huge challenge. There's not a single person out there that we've spoken to that, that says otherwise. Says otherwise. Um, but look, all we can do is prepare for that and uh, put ourselves in a position where we minimise the, the damage caused. Mentally, there's no doubt that there will be tough times, rowing two hours on, two hours off, day and night, um, for 40 days, and all the meanwhile just pulling oars. It's certainly going to take its toll. Fatigue is an inevitability. Hallucinations are part of the part and parcel of the um, experience. The big fear for me is is what we're going to encounter after you know 10, 20, 30, 40 days. It's an El Nino year, so we've been told by our weather router that it's going to be uh, it could be a, a rough one. I don't think any of us really know how we're going to react in that situation. Um, so while I can say I'm, I would like to think I'm not going to be uh, scared as such. Uh, I can tell you already that it's going to be the biggest challenge of my life, without a doubt. Right. Do you want me to be in trousers? I met Stuart four years ago. That's a lie. I didn't. When did I meet Stuart? I'm not the biggest, the tallest, or the strongest. I've probably got the uh, I've got the longest hair. Pizza, pizza, great guy. He's. Um... He's charming, he's, he's so intelligent. There's George, who pretty much just adds the sarcasm and <laughs> luckily can spell. So that means from a content production point of view, he can proofread everything Dickie and I write. I do like to keep things trim, although the other lads don't agree with me. One luxury item on the boat. Probably, oh, regain would be quite nice. I am the only member of the Four Oarsmen that doesn't struggle with dyslexia. There's a lot of content to write. I think we will be, I think we'll be the heaviest boat ever to attempt crossing the Atlantic. And that won't just be our own personal lard. It'll also be the fact that all of us get hangry if we don't eat. So we need to take loads of food. The motivation and inspiration uh, for me to undertake this challenge is, is my mother. Uh, after a long fought battle with mental illness, uh, she sadly passed away in 2011. On the night of her funeral, Dickie and I decided that one day we'd take on a, a, a huge challenge um, in her memory and raise money uh, and awareness for mine, the mental health charity, um, a charity she was a trustee for. Um, for me, um, spinal research is something that I'm really um it's something that's very close, close to my heart. Um, I played rugby with a guy called Ben Kendi over in Hong Kong. I was lucky enough to live over there for three years. And um, Ben had a uh, spinal injury playing rugby, representing the Hong Kong youth uh, team. Um, and he, as a result, he became a, he was a quadriplegic. Um, he was a, a full um, sever of the spine. When I was visiting him in hospital in Sydney, I felt quite helpless. And actually, through spinal research, um, it can make a real difference. Uh, what we really want to do is is help uh, find the cure, um, find the cure for paralysis. And this is what spinal research and all the money that goes towards them is helping to do. Pete actually got in touch with me and said he'd had a crazy idea of rowing the Atlantic. Um, I was mad keen from it for it and uh, also it kind of sparked a little idea that me and George had at, at Anne's, his mum's funeral. Uh, we, we both agreed that we would do something for her uh, and we shook on it so as soon as Pete suggested it I you know, called up George and was mad keen for him to get involved. Yeah, one thing I've got to say is the support has been absolutely incredible. Um, both friends, family, uh, sponsors, uh, even just the general public, people we've never met before have been incredibly generous um, and it's, it really has been amazing. Um, 
yeah, I, I'd like to thank everyone in this room who who've supported us to date and also just for being here as well. It's incredible. Um, and yeah, just I suppose you can know that uh, uh, this money, all the money that we're raising is going to two fantastic causes and uh, we'll make sure that we do ourselves justice in the race um, and just like to thank everyone here. It's probably the biggest thing that keeps you going other than your teammates is just the kindness and generosity of everyone around you. It, it has a huge impact on you. Um, with regards to friends and family, um, they've just been amazing. Well, the sport's been tremendous, um, and, and you know, right from the start, um, we, I guess I said before, we didn't really realise what we were taking on, um, and didn't realise the magnitude of all, you know, everything involved, uh, the admin, the, the setup, etc. So. You know, we've been blown away by you know local support, friends, family, uh, and we really. I mean, it's it's clear that we wouldn't have made it to the start line with a lot of a lot of help. Uh, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's helped make the event possible, um, and also a huge thank you to everyone who's here. And uh, don't be afraid to bid for a few auction prizes because um, they're for two great causes. It's, it's impossible to say at this stage whether we're going to be favourites to start or the worst lot in the pack, but we're going to go out there and do our best and do everyone that supported us proud. We have dedicated every ounce of effort and every waking second to preparing ourselves for this challenge and that's with the aim of not letting ourselves down, not letting our friends and family down and not letting those other people who have supported us to get to the start line down. Um, for us, it's important to do our best, whether that means coming in first or coming in last, that's not important, so long as we can get to the finish line and know that we couldn't have tried harder, couldn't have done better.